Well, I can tell you, Max, it was certainly an earthquake that was felt all over central Italy. I felt it here in Rome. Uh, it hit in the middle of the night, and it was a big one. Uh, it lasted several minutes and, and really shook uh, all of the buildings. Even people here in Rome went out into the streets and, uh, and were, were very afraid as to what was going to happen afterwards. There didn't seem to be too many aftershocks, frankly, but the big one that hit was enough. And, of course, in the epicenter in Aquila, which is uh, north of Rome, kind of right in the center of Italy, as it were, uh, there's, there's much damage because it's an old medieval uh, area. The buildings are, are ancient and some of them crumbling. And so, as you can imagine, the authorities are trying to ascertain at this moment exactly what the damage is. If modern technology were out in 1915, a similar newscast would have been shown for the Avazano earthquake that occurred January 13, 1915. This earthquake claimed around 96% of the population instantly and carried a moment magnitude of 7.0 and an 11 grade on the Mercalli scale. An 11 grade on the Mercalli scale means few, if any, masonry structures remain standing, bridges destroyed, underground pipelines taken out of service, train rails bent greatly. Italy as a whole is very seismically active. Because of the convergent plate boundary of the Eurasian plate and the African plate, it can make Italy a dangerous place to live at times. Avazzano, Italy sits between Italy's two major fault lines, one stretching north to south and one moving east to west. As a result of the earthquake, 16,500 people who lived in Avezzano died, and only one building survived in the town because of its concrete base. Most buildings in the area were made up of loose stones because they were inexpensive. The large magnitude and intensity of the disaster are evidence that an earthquake of this scale will not happen often, but is bound to happen in the future given the location. Recommendations to reduce impact of future earthquakes are to build stronger buildings from stronger material. Given the time period of the earthquake, it is evident that structural design is not nearly as advanced as today. According to the Italian Department of Civil Protection, the damage sustained in this region can be attributed to two main factors. The fragility of the buildings, and the close proximity of the fault. A lesson to be learned from the Abruzzo earthquake is that even a moderate-sized earthquake can cause major damage and many deaths. The main problem was very fragile buildings, especially residents.